Today I'll be solving question 16a from the 2020 HSC Maths Extension 2 exam. So we've got two, two masses of 2m kilograms and 4m kilograms attached by a light string. A string is placed over a smooth pulley. Two masses are at rest before being released and V is the velocity of the larger mass. So V is the velocity of the larger mass and the smaller mass is also going to move at V because they are attached by a pulley and at time T seconds after they are released. We have a force of air, air resistance of magnitude KV where K is the positive constant and V is the velocity. So the first part is to find what the acceleration dv over dt is. Okay, so what we can do is look at the forces on each of the masses. The 2m mass will experience a downwards weight force of 2mg, so that's the weight force. We'll experience a tension, upward tension force in the string. So we'll have a force of t here. And also, since the since the 4m mass is larger, the system's going to move downwards like this. So, since the object moves upwards, the air resistance will be downwards. So, the air resistance is going to be kV downwards. And for the 4m mass, for the 4m mass, uh, we'll have an upwards tension force, which is also T, because the tension throughout the string is the same. And we have a downwards weight force of 4 mg. And since the 4 m mass is moving downwards, the air resistance will be a force of kV upwards. Okay, the net force on the net force on the 2 m mass. The net force on the 2 m mass will be equal to m a by Newton's uh, Newton's second law. So it'll be m a upwards is a net force. Uh, it should be a 2ma in fact because the mass is 2m so 2ma is equal to the net force which is t minus 2mg minus kv and over here using newton's second law the net force will be downwards 4m 4ma so acceleration is 4ma which is uh or net force is 4ma which is 4mg minus t minus kv. Now we have two equations. And the thing we want to prove over here about acceleration doesn't involve t, so we'd want to cancel t out of the equation. And what we can just do is add the two equations together to cancel out the t. Left hand side will be 6ma. The right hand side is 4mg minus 2mg minus 2kv. And now we can write this as 2mg minus 2kv. Divide both sides by 2 to get 3ma equals mg minus kv. So the acceleration dv over dt is equal to mg minus kv over 3m. So that is the same as part i. So part i is complete. And the second part is we are given v over v is gm. v is equal to gm over k. Show that when t is equal to uh, 3m over k ln 2, the velocity of the larger mass is equal to gm over 2k. So, we have a expression for the rate, the rate of change of velocity. And we can actually solve this uh, differential equation by bringing everything in terms of v's to one side. So we have, we can write it as the integral we can move the 3m and this mg minus kv over to the left hand side and move the dt to the right hand side and take the integral of both sides to solve this equation, differential equation. This will integrate from 0 to v, so 0, the starting speed is 0 and it ends at speed v. Starting time is 0, ending time is t. So the right hand side integral will just equal, we just integrate t from t to 0, which is just t. Okay, a left-hand side integral, 
since we have a v in the denominator, denominator, this will be quite similar to just taking log of v, something related to log of v will be the indefinite integral or antiderivative. So in fact, it will be uh, log, or I'll write ln, ln of absolute value mg minus kv. And we have a 3m at the front, and we have a, might have a chain rule going on here because of the negative k. So we want to divide by k here. And this is all from v to 0 is equal to t. Now, remember, v was less than gm over k, so that means kv is less than gm, so mg is greater than kv, or mg minus kv greater than 0. So since mg minus kv is greater than 0, you don't need the absolute value signs. Okay. Now we have we can actually move this stuff over to the right hand side. So we have ln mg minus kv from v to 0 is equal to negative kt over 3m. And t was equal to 3m over k ln 2. And it is equal to, we just have cancellation, so negative ln 2, which is Using logarithm rules, we have ln of half. And now, to find this, we have ln mg minus kv minus ln mg minus k times 0, which is just 0, so just mg here. And using logarithm uh, laws, we can write this as log of mg minus kv over mg equals ln half. And now we can, if we take both sides... If you take e to the power of both sides, you can cancel out the logs. So things inside the logs must be the same. And now we can rearrange it. And 2kv equals mg. So v is going to equal mg over 2k. And this is going to be the velocity of, the, of both of the masses at the time t. And this is... Yeah, this is what we wanted to prove, so we've successfully proven velocity of the larger masses gm over 2k. Okay, so that concludes the proof for this HSC mechanics problem. So, hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.